So in this question, we are given a long shunt compound, uh, compound wound that is DC machine as an amateur resistance. All right, so we want to consider like what is it that is uh, given. So there we are given that it's a long shunt compound wound DC machine. Okay, so later on, we can consider that the machine draws a current of 50 amps from a 400 volt DC supply. Whenever it is drawing a current, it means that is a motor when uh, run as a motor. If it is supplying the current, it is a generator. So in this case, yes, we are already, uh, or later on, we are told that it is a motor, but we can also take this from this statement that it draws a current of, okay? So drawing a current that is a motor. So you're asked to calculate the EMF generated in the armature. All right, so we need to calculate the generated EMF. Consider that this is a long shunt motor that we are to consider uh, where the shunt field is connected across the armature and the series field. Remember like uh, what we had from the previous case of uh, a generator. So it can also be on a motor. It's still the same consideration. You are going to have your shunt field in connect, which is connected across. So it is going to be connected across the series field and the armature. So there we are going to have uh, the series field and the armature at this point. Okay, so that is the condition that you can just consider. All right, so remember this is the motor. Like I said, it draws in the current. So it is supplying uh, the current in this case uh, where it draws a current of 50 amps. All right, so meaning to say that is the load current that you are given uh, when working with a motor all right so the voltage uh, we are given from a 400 volts that is the voltage of 400 volts so that is our terminal voltage we have got this then we are also given that it is an amateur resistance of 0 0.4 so the amateur resistance is 0 0.4 remember here on the amateur when i talk of the amateur resistance we're going to talk of the series field and the series field resistance. We are given this as 0, 0,2 ohms and the shunt field. In this case, we're going to talk of the shunt, which is 40 ohms. This is the resistance that you're given on the shunt. So remember, this is a motor. It supplies the current from the, the, the input there that you're given. So this load current is going to be transferred another part Due to our Kirchhoff's law, you're going to have another uh, current taken to the shunt field. Another current is going to be transferred to the series field in this case, which is the same as the amateur current because these two, they are in series. Remember the series connection. So this is just exactly as your amateur current. So this is the idea that you're given there. So with this information, we are asked to calculate the generated EMF. All right, so from our generated EMF, which is uh, working with our specific EMF equation, guys, if you consider the specific EMF equation, uh, it states that the generated EMF, which is E, is equal to V minus the armature current times the resistance that we have in the armature circuit, which is the total resistance considering the armature circuit. This is in short. So with this, you can just consider, all right, according to this, what which is the resistance that is affecting the armature? There is the series resistance and that armature resistance. So that is, in this case, we can consider this formula as E is equal to V, minus the armature current, then we are going to have the armature resistance plus the series. You combine these the part of the armature. So this is the armature resistance. 
what is it that is affecting the armature? There is the armature resistance and the stress field. So you add these two together. That is the idea. Remember, this is the back EMF. You're talking about the motor. So that is, you're talking about E being the back EMF. So it's going to be V minus this. So that is what you're given. So with this now, we can actually substitute our values according to what we are given. Are we having the V? We have got this, but we do not have the armature current, armature resistance, and the series field are given. So the armature current, due to our Kirchhoff's law, this time you see that it is the load current that is supplying this shunt and also the armature. So it means the load current is equal to the shunt plus the armature, which is different from a generator. So you can make the shunt, I mean the armature current, the subject, that means the load current minus the shunt current is equal to the armature current. So that is with this formula of the load current minus the shunt current, we can determine uh, the armature current. So on this part, we have the load current we are given, but for the shunt, we do not have. And for the shunt, remember, this does not change always the terminal voltage to the resistance that you're given in that shunt. It's a parallel circuit. So meaning to say, we are going to consider the shunt current to the voltage over our shunt because the voltage across that uh, shunt will be the terminal voltage. So remember your terminal voltage, we are given 400 shunt resistance of 40. So this was going to be uh, 400 over 40 to obtain uh, the shunt current in this case. All right, so that was going to be 10 amps. With this shunt current, we can determine our EMF generated, which is the back EMF uh, due to the generator concept. All right, so that is, we are going to substitute, we, like I said, we've got everything in this case, the terminal voltage minus the armature current that we just connected, uh, that we just calculated of uh, 10 amps. So that is 10 into the resistance of the armature circuit, where we have got the armature resistance of 0 0.4 and the series field of 0 0.2. These are the ones that we consider in this armature uh, part that we are given. So if we are to consider this here, guys, remember, guys, we remember we need the armature current. Look what I'm substituting here. Uh, what we need is the armature current, not this, guys. Remember this? There's the shunt current, sorry. We need the armature current here, sorry for that. So we are going to need this one here. Sorry for this, guys. Can I just uh, substitute, remember? Your load current, it was 50 minus the shunt, uh, the shunt current here, which is 10. Sorry for that. So that was going to give us a 40 amps. So this is our armature current uh, that we are going to have. So with this, let us substitute here. So this here, guys, can we correct this? So this is 40, okay? This is uh, 40 uh, for our amateur current. So if you were going to use your calculator at once to calculate this, it was going to be 376 volts. So this was going to give us uh, three. 176 volts as the generated EMF of this connection that we are given of uh, a long shunt compound motor. A long shunt compound motor. Know your diagrams, uh, the formulas uh, that need to be connected together in order for you to attempt these typical questions. So we shall have more questions to come. For Mason African Motives till we meet again.